Welcome to this video on the workflow of multi-track DAO. My name is Eddie Garrido. I'm with Overview and Workflow. In the last video, we did an overview of everything that multi-track DAO can do. Here, we just want to walk you through the realistic workflow of what you can expect when you have the app. So, first, let's open up multi-track DAO. And there it is. If you're a guitar player, you're probably going to connect your guitar with an interface in which you just arm the track and you keep adding tracks. My personal workflow is, uh, as a keyboard player, so I usually use a rhythm. About 90% of the time, I use a rhythm. So you could either bring a loop from, from an outsource collections of loops. You could record a drummer or you can use a drum machine. I myself going to go ahead and use an app called Funkbox. We open up Funkbox and I already programmed something. So I'm going to use that and I will Export. This, this is my workflow. So I'm going to name this Eddie Rhythm, return, and copy it. The loop has been copied to the pasteboard. So now I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go back to multi track DAO. I'm going to make sure that my clock is set to 100. because that's the bits per minute in my rhythm. And that should match up now, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paste. Again, all this has been covered on the overview video. That should be, so there's my, so for the sake of this video, we're going to just go ahead, I pre-recorded a bass already, so I'm going to go ahead and paste it. You would actually just arm, play your bass. And paste. You have your bass, you have your drums, now you want to add a keyboard. So I'm going to add a track, press cross, and I'm going to go ahead, I already pre-recorded a keyboard, look for this, paste, you could connect your keyboard to your interface and go ahead and arm the track, etc, etc. Now I'm going to position this right here, and as you can see, this looks a lot longer. And I did this in purple. And we ran out of drums, so this is where we can copy and paste. As you can see, this is a lot longer than what I have for drums. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the drums. Copy. And I'll paste them here. And I'm going to copy again and paste. Now you would say, well, why don't you select both tracks and do it? 
The reason I don't do that is because Multitrack Plow mixes down when you select multiple tracks. Now, I wrote the company and asked them to give us the option. If I was to select track one and track two and go ahead and paste, it would mix them down for me into one track and I still want them separate. So I have to do it track by track. Just copy, paste, paste, and paste. And this is what I mean by workflow, because this is actually something that you would have to do, it's not instant. So let's add some more. You would add another track, whatever you want to add, a guitar, whatever, again, you arm it, and you go to record. I myself already have some pre-recorded, just to expedite this video, and I'm going to go ahead and paste it, and there it is. And let's see what it sounds like. And like that, you can keep adding tracks. When you're done with your tracks, you know, you can mix them. There is no mixer view, so you can you can feel around with your volumes and your pants positions. You add tracks, you record tracks, you do multiple takes. Let's bounce. I'm gonna grab all these tracks. I'm gonna show you what I meant by the mix down. I'm gonna grab all these tracks. And I'm gonna copy them. And let's say that I wanna paste them right next to, right here, right? You would think that I would go paste and you would just paste them all, right? That's not what it does. It pasted them all right here, but on the mix that I had. So look, they're all there in the same track. It would be nice if they gave us an option to paste to multiple tracks or to mix them. But for now, it does not do that. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this song and I'm going to let you listen to the finished product and it goes like this
Well, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. And um, please subscribe or visit me at overviewandworkflow.com. Thank you.